the Secretary General of the League of Arab States, Ahmed Abul Ghiait, said that the Arab countries are in dire need of a comprehensive strategy to deal with the protracted crisis the world is witnessing, calling for fortifying Arab societies and strengthening their steadfastness in the face of imminent shocks and sudden calamities. In an opening speech during the Arab summit, which kicked off in Algeria today, Tuesday, Abul Ghiait said that such thinking can only crystallize in a collective framework and an integrated approach, noting that the Arabs can do a lot if they mobilize the great and diverse Arab capabilities, properly and scientifically. He added that the Arab food security strategy, presented to the summit, is only a model and one example of what the Arab countries can do collectively in facing their crises. On the other hand, he pointed out that the global situation exacerbates the problems of the Arab countries, noting that Arab countries are living in situations that threaten not only their security and stability, but their very existence, and that the national state, with sovereignty, independence and independent decision-making, is under fierce attack in some corners of the region due to terrorism, militias and groups. Armed in reference to the Polisario gang and terrorist organizations in the Sahel, as well as from non-Arab parties such as Hezbollah and the Iranian Al-Qus militia, Abul Ghiait stressed that it is no longer acceptable to throw our Arab crises on the shoulders of an international community that is carrying heavy loads, and is preoccupied with other pressing and urgent issues noting that the Arab will is capable of effective intervention to settle Arab crises, if it gathers its strength. The Secretary General of the Arab League reviewed the developments of the Palestinian cause, recalling, in this regard, that strengthening the heroic Palestinian steadfastness and defending this pivotal issue is the duty of every Arab. He stressed that the Arab consensus is still held on the two-state solution as a way to end the occupation and establish an independent Palestinian state on the 1967 borders, with East Jerusalem as its capital. The 31st Arab summit was opened today in Algeria, its agenda includes a number of items and draft resolutions related in particular to the developments of the Palestinian cause and the Arab-Israeli conflict, solidarity with and support for Lebanon, the developments of the Syrian crisis, the situation in Libya and Yemen, support for peace and development in Sudan, and support for the republics of Somalia and the Comoros United. The Arab leaders will also discuss Iran's occupation of the three UAE islands, Iranian interference in the internal affairs of Arab countries, maintaining Arab national security, combating terrorism, and developing the Arab system to combat terrorism. The Moroccan delegation to the summit includes Minister of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation, and Moroccan expatriates, Nasaba Raita. Morocco's ambassador to Egypt and permanent representative to the League of Arab States, Ahmed Tazi, director of the Mashrek, Gulf and Arab and Islamic organizations at the Ministry, Fouad Akraif, and head of the Arab and Islamic Organizations Department, Abdul Libaygai.